What's it like now that you've got Curtis missed a little bit of time in minicamp, Terry wasn't here, you've been working with Jahan, now you got all three of them. Yeah. How much have you enjoyed that? What are you learning about each guy? It's been fun, honestly. They're all unique in their own way. They can all fly. Uh, obviously, everyone knows they can roll. Um, and so just seeing what they're good at, seeing their personalities, both on and off the field has been a lot of fun, you know, getting around those guys in Cali, um, seeing them in a little different light, seeing them in the facility now, getting, getting to be around Terry a little bit more. Sure. Uh, has been a lot of fun too. Great guy, great leader. Um, and so I'm super excited what they, what they bring to the table as, as human beings in the locker room and all that. And obviously out on the practice field, you know, we're going to miss some things. We're, we're trying to find our chemistry now, but uh, very excited about the potential that they all bring and the speed they bring. Favorite offensive lineman? Favorite offensive uh, lineman? Anyone not named Leno, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. There's been obviously a lot of attention around him the last couple of years, a couple of trays and all that. When someone like that comes in, do you, what questions do you have and what have you seen from him since he's been here? I really don't need to ask him any questions. What he does on a day-to-day -day basis will tell me everything I need to know about him. He came in, he worked, he involved himself with the team, and he's exactly what we want from a quarterback. So I have no questions. I know a lot of the times the media doesn't really get the full story, only the story that some people portray. That's all I'm not worried about what the media says. I'm worried about what I see with my own eyes, and he's giving me no reason to doubt him at all. Hey, if this is to have any weapons and all, this is possible. And uh, we have a lot of personal guys like we have young, nucleus guys who are hungry and humble. You know what I mean? I think it's really cool to have a, be a part of a group like that. Uh, when everybody's excited to make a play, even you got guys like Cam who knows how to play all three positions, and you have that versatility over a 17 game season that comes in becomes very important. Um, you get pigeonholed into this guy going to play this, this guy going to play that. It hurts not only the player, but it hurts the offense. You have a veteran quarterback, which is an asset. Yeah. How has Carson kind of helped you get adjusted this offseason? Yeah, uh, Carson's helped me tremendously, and he, he's been a great leader, uh, someone I can look up to in the locker room, and someone I know I can go to when I have when I need advice. So uh, he, he's been helping me tremendously, starting in OTAs, uh, just keep being around him, and learning what he likes to do on the field, um, and just trying to be there. Lots of cheers coming from the defensive side of things. How was day two? Oh, it's good. The, the guys are in a great frame of mind. We were working hard and uh, yeah, doing a nice job. A lot, of, a lot of good energy. What are you seeing from some of the free agents, some of the newer guys out here? Well, I mean, I, I really from everybody, it's a great start. You know, our offense is, uh, is, is really going to be a lot stronger this year. I think Carson Wentz is a fantastic ad for us. 
Um, Scott Turner doing a great job with the offense. So it's, uh, it's a great battle back and forth for offense and defense as we come together as a football team. You're really upbeat. Is yep. that just training camp in general? That's who I am. <laughs> All right, thanks. All right, thanks.